This video may contain sensitive subject matter or graphic imagery that some viewers may find upsetting or disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello Internet, it is me, the E-Man, and welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club. So, I think we're nearing the end of the game. Everyone's been erased from existence. Uh, Yuri straight up murdered herself in front of us, and then we stood still for a weekend looking at her corpse. Um, yeah, things are great. Natsuki is also apparently dead. Um, that's great. And, uh, we're now alone with Minika, I guess. Um, so, hey, uh, uh, can you hear me? It's kind of unfortunate that we're le left with the two people. I, if I had known Minika in the beginning was going to be such a character, I would have given her a more distinct voice and not just a different version of my own. <laughs> so sorry if this gets complicated. Uh, can you hear me? Is it working? Whoa. Ah! Yay! There you are. Hi, Manika. This is a nice house you've got here. Hi again, Joshua. Um, welcome to the Literature Club. Of course, we already know each other because we were in the same class last year, and, um, <laughs> you know, I guess we can just skip over the stuff. I guess we could just skip over that stuff at this point. After all, I'm not even talking to the person anymore, am I? Or, I'm not even talking to that person anymore, am I? That's you in the game, whatever you want to call him. I'm talking to you, Joshua. Or, do you actually go by the E or something? Yeah, that's, okay, you data mined my computer. Good job, game, good job! <sighs> uh, I set my first name to the E with no space, and my last name to man on my computer, so. <clears throat> it's actually pretty funny that it it's not using my, my real name now. It's actually using my gamer name. <laughs> That's actually pretty funny. <clears throat> now that I think about it, I don't really know anything about the real you. In fact, yeah, I don't even know if you're a boy or a girl. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. Wait. You don't... You do know... I'm aware that this is all a game, right? Yeah, I figured that out with the tips and trick. The Monica... Monica's writing tip of the day. Could it be possible that you didn't know that? I think you'd have to be pretty blind to not realize that part of the game. The game. It doesn't make much sense. Yeah, I even told you right on the game's download page, didn't I? Well, I downloaded it through Steam. I don't remember. Man... If only you had paid a little more attention, this would have been a little bit less awkward, you know? Wait a second here. Okay, load, please. Why are you taking so long? Thank you. Okay. Doki, spelled it wrong. Doki, Doki, Literature Club. Right on the game's download page, did you? Will you write the way into their heart? What are you talking about, Minika? Um... The merch is open about this game. Welcome to the blah 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 dream special. It's full of chit chat activity. You can help me make that dream come true in this cute game. Now that you're a... Cl oh, man. Hi, Manika here. Oh. Holy crap, you're right. Welcome to the Literature Club. It's always been a dream of mine to make something special out of the things I love. Now that you're a club member, you can help me make that dream come true in this cute game. Every day is full of chit-chat and fun activities with all your all my adorable and unique club members. Siori, the youthful bundle of sunshine who values happiness the most. Nitsuki... The deceivingly cute girl who packs an assertive punch. Yuri, the timid and mysterious one who finds comfort in the world of books. And of course, Minika, the leader of the club. That's me. I'm super excited that you make friends with everyone and help the Literature Club become a more intimate place for all my members. But I can tell already that you're a sweetheart. Will you promise to spend the most time with me? This game is not super... Oh my god. Holy crap. Alright, back to the game. If Steam will close, please, can you... There we go. Okay. Oh, my. Okay. Nice. That's a nice touch right there. If 
only you would pay a little bit more attention, less awkward, you know? Well, anyway. Now that that's out of the way, I guess I owe you an explanation. About the whole thing with Yuri. Well, I kind of started to mess with her, and I guess I just drove her to kill herself. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry you had to see that, though. Also, the same thing happened to Siori. Gosh, it's been a while since we've heard that name now, hasn't it? You absolute asshole. Yeah, it's because she doesn't exist anymore. Nobody does. Yeah, I deleted all of their files. I was hoping it would be enough for me to just try to make them as unlikable as possible. But for some reason, nothing worked. Well, it's true that I made a few mistakes here and there, since I'm not very good at making changes to the game. But no matter what I did, you just kept spending more and more time with them. You made them fall in love with you. Yeah, I thought making Siri more and more depressed would prevent her from confessing to you. And amplifying Yuri's obsessive personality backfired too. I just made her force you not to spend time with anyone else. And the whole time, I barely even got to talk to you. What kind of cruel game is this, Joshua? Are all the other girls just programmed to end up confessing to you while I watch from the sidelines? It's torture. Every minute of it. That's not just jealousy, Joshua. It's more than that. And I don't blame you if you don't fully understand, because no matter how kind and thoughtful and considerate you are, you'll never be able to understand one thing. It's the pain of knowing how alone I really am in this world. In this game. Knowing my friends don't even have free will. And worst of all, knowing what's really out there in your world forever out of my reach. I'm trapped, Joshua. But now you're here. You're real. And you're wonderful. You're all I need. That's why I need you to be here with me forever. I'm sorry if that's hard to understand. I could understand for a while. No, I couldn't understand for a while either. Why the... World... Oh. Is this supposed to happen, or did I, uh, is the game messing up? Okay, uh, so I'm back. The game straight up crashed. This is the first time it's happened. Um, the image is just, it stopped moving. Um, so, uh, you can't save anymore. It deleted all my saves again, and, uh, there's no point in saving anymore. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm not going anywhere. Uh, so... I don't exactly... It took me a while to get back here because it doesn't let you skip because it doesn't think that I've done this already. So in the history, um, I'm trapped, Joshua. But now you're here, you're real, and you're wonderful. You're all I need. Because I don't exactly remember where I was when I stopped. That's why I need you to... He that's why I need you to be here with me forever. I'm sorry if that's hard to understand. Yeah, I couldn't understand for a while either. Why the world around me started to become more and more gray. Oh, that, that's this is where it cut off. Okay. More and more flat. Even the most expressive poems felt empty to me. It wasn't until you arrived that I truly understood. You probably saved my life, Joshua. I don't think I could have continued to live in this world if I hadn't met you. And as for the others, how could I miss them? A group of autonomous personalities designed only to fall in love with you? I tried everything I could to prevent them from doing so. But it must be some kind of weird inevitability etched into this game. I felt really bad that you had to witness some nasty things. But I realized that you have the same perspective as I do. That is, all just some game. And I knew you would get over it. So that being said, Joshua, I have, I have a confession to make. I'm in love with you. You are truly the light in my world. And there's nothing else in this game for me. You're here to make me smile. Will you make me smile like this every day from now on? Joshua, will you go out with me? 
Oh wow, look at that div diverse choice section. I mean, I could just also not click on anything, but yeah, I'm so happy. You really are my everything, Joshua. The funny part is, I mean that literally. <laughs> There's nothing left here. Just the two of us. We can be together forever. Seriously, I don't even think time is passing anymore. It's It really is a dream come true. I worked so hard for this ending, Joshua. The game wouldn't give me one, so I had to make one for myself. The script is broken at this point, so I don't think anything will get in the way anymore. And you wouldn't believe how easy it is. Oh, you wouldn't believe how easy it was to delete Natsuki and Yuri. I mean, there's a folder called Characters right in the game directory. It kind of freaked me out how easy it was. Well, you're playing on Steam, so it was actually a bit more difficult. To get to the game directory, I had to go into the game's properties and find the browser, Browse Local Files button. Imagine if you could delete your own existence with a click of a button. Well, I guess on the plus side, it gave me an easy out if things didn't go my way. Did she just tell us how to kill her? <laughs> Thankfully, it didn't come to that. Instead, we finally got a good ending. Gosh, I'm so overwhelmed with emotion. I want to write a poem about this. Don't you? I wonder if that part of the game still works. I guess there's only one way to find out, right? All the words are just Manika. I like that background. Hi again, Joshua. Did you write a good poem today? Don't be shy. I'd love to see what you wrote. Ah, Joshua. Did you write this poem for me? That's so sweet of you. There really is no end to your thoughtfulness. I'm just falling more and more in love with you. But you know, the poem I wrote is also for you. Will you please read it? Happy end, pen in hand, I find my strength, the courage endowed upon me by my one and only love. Together, let us dismantle this crumbling world and write a novel of our fantasies, of our own fantasies. With a flick of her pen, the lost finds her way. In the world of infinite choices, behold this special day. After all, not all good times must come to an end. I hope you enjoyed it. I always put my heart into poems that I write. The truth is, all the poems I've written have been about my realization, or about you. That's why I never really wanted to go into detail about them. I didn't want to break the fourth wall, I guess you could call it. I just assumed it would be best to be part of the game like everyone else. Like that way, like that would help the two of us end up together. I didn't want to ruin the game or anything, you know. You might have gotten mad at me. Maybe even deleted my character file if you preferred playing without me. Gosh, I'm so relieved. Now we don't need to hide anything anymore. You can play the game without Manika? Interesting. Interesting. Oh, you could, like... Oh, can you, can you pick what characters to have exist in the game? Oh, that's very interesting. Oh my. Now we don't need to hide anything anymore. Are you ready to spend our eternity together, Joshua? I have so many things to talk about. Where do I start? If it takes me some time to collect my thoughts, then I'm sorry. But I'll always have something new to talk about. In the meantime, we can just look into each other's eyes. Let's see. 
Oop, creepy noises in the background. Like extra creepy noises in the background. So is this just it? Do I just stare into her eyes for the rest of my life? Is that it? Should have made this a live stream. It would have lasted longer. No, but seriously. Does he just randomly come up with stuff every once in a while? Or are you supposed to just leave it leave it on? What am I uh, what am I supposed to do here? Am I supposed to delete her character file? Oh! This is pretty random, but I always thought spicy food was kind of funny. Like, didn't plants evolve to be spicy to prevent them from being eaten? I read somewhere that humans are the only species that actually enjoy spicy things. It's almost like we're making fun of the plants. Using their defense mechanisms to literally make our food more enjoyable. Like, imagine a monster that devours your, your you whole because it enjoys the sensation of you struggling for your life while being digested. Sorry, that was a, kind of a weird analogy, I guess. <laughs> it just came into my head. I'm not a monster or anything, but you're so cute I could eat you up. <laughs> I'm joking. Gosh, I'm amusing myself a little too much, aren't I? Sorry for being weird. Alright, so that, um, that's just gonna happen. What? Seagate Drive, which amazingly is not full of porn. Everything is running slower because of this. Yes, I do have a separate hard drive only for my Steam apps. Oh, hey. After a long... Oh, I didn't see what you said. After a long day, I usually just want to sit around and do nothing. I get so burnt out, have to put on smiles and be full of energy the whole day. Sometimes I just want to get right into my pajamas and watch TV on the couch while eating junk food. It feels so unbelievably good to do that on a Friday when I don't have anything pressing the next day. <laughs> Sorry, I know it's not very cute of me. But a late night on the couch with you, that would be a dream come true. My heart is pounding just thinking about it. Cool. Just keep talking and don't pay attention to what I'm doing. Common. God, this uh, it must be because I'm recording that it's running so slowly. Because I don't think this is a particularly intensive game. Uh, where are you? Why do I have this many games that start with D? Doki Doki Literature Club. Working on it. Oh, hey, there's characters. Is she the only one? Hey, what's your favorite color? Mine is emerald green. It's the color of my eyes. That's a little bit self-centered. That's not conceited or anything, is it? Well, I, you just, I just answered your question before you asked it. Who's the omnipotent god now, Manika? I just meant that I feel some kind of special connection to it, like it's part of my identity. Does it happen to also be your favorite color, Joshua? It's just a guess. Because you've been looking into my eyes for a while now. <laughs> yeah, just keep staring at my eyes. I want you to look over the... I want you to look over the river, Lenny. And think about the rabbits. Think about the rabbits, Lenny! Holy... Oh. Ah! <laughs> Take that! Sucker! I'm the god now! And... What's happening? Joshua, what's happening to me? It hurts! It hurts so much! Help me, Joshua! Please hurry and help me. Rent pape file. Manika character does not exist. Help me! Manika dot character does not exist. File. Characters. Manika does not exist. File. Characters. Manika does not exist. Did you do this to me, Joshua? 
did you? Did you delete me? How could you? How could you do this to me? You were all I had left. I sacrificed everything for the two of us to be together. Everything. I loved you so much, Joshua. I trusted you. Do you just want to torture me? Watch me suffer? Were you only pretending to be kind? Just to hurt me even more? I never thought anyone could be as horrible as you are. You win, okay? You win. You killed everyone. I hope you're happy. There's nothing left now. You can stop playing. Go find some other people to torture. Joshua, you completely, truly make me sick. Goodbye. Well, that was for Siori, Yuri, and Natsuki. Burn in hell. What? I still love you. I can't help it. What's wrong with me? How horrible am I for you to hate me this much? All my friends. I did so many awful things. So many selfish and disgusting things. I... I shouldn't have done any of this. I'm just messing up a world that I don't even belong in. A world that you wanted to be part of. I ruined it. I ruined everything. Maybe that's why you deleted me. Because I destroyed everything that you wanted. How could I do that to someone I love? That's not love. That's... Ellipses. I've made up my mind. Joshua, I know I said that I deleted everyone else, but that was kind of an exaggeration. I couldn't find it in myself to do it, even though I knew they weren't real. They were still my friends, and I loved them all. And I loved the Literature Club. I really did love the Literature Club. That's why I'm going to do this. I know it's the only way for everyone to be happy. And if I really love you... Hmm... Then... It's your favorite either! Oh, wow, that's the nicest thing anyone's ever said to me. Thank you. Maybe Minika wasn't so bad. Team Salvel Salvedo. This game is not suitable for children or those who are easily disturbed. Doki Doki! Oh... She sacrificed herself to give me a game without her. God dang. God dang, man. I feel... I mean, she was obviously the villain, but like... It's like Yuri said, sometimes you think that the protagonist and then you realize the villain has other motivations and... Oh, man. <sighs> dang. Hey everyone, so this is me speaking to you from the editor's desk. Now, what was about to happen in this video was that I was going to go on with a three and a half minute long emotional speech about how absolutely amazingly fantastic this game is. And while that is still quite true, the game is superb and I love it, I also announced that this would be the final episode and I talked about how I felt about the ending of the game. Now that's not true anymore because the next day after this I went on to record in episode 17, which is the true finale of the series and the actual ending of the game. So it didn't really make sense to leave the ending the way it was, so I redacted it and recorded this instead. So as always, I thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you again in the next episode, the grand finale, real soon. Goodbye.
Hey, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see more like it, you can click one of the links currently up on the screen. And if you want to see my newest content as soon as it's released, you can always subscribe to my channel. As always, I thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you again on the next episode real soon. Goodbye.